Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over routes. So in the past, we went over some uh, client side and how to send over information, which is a request. And we even talked about a response that gets sent back, right? So what's, what's going on in between, right? So a request gets sent over, hits the server, and goes to the entry point. And the entry point, it gets routed to some place. And so let's go over that. So again, this is the same template as we had before, Aqueduct Server App Channel Extends Application Channel. And so we'll find follow the application channel all the way through. Here is the logging that, that we set up from before. That's just part of the template. Um, the request gets sent to the entry point, and then we create a router object. And so the router object will take the request and do something with it. What it does is it matches the route the router with the path of the route, right? So sends information over to the router, it matches the path, and if it matches correctly, it will do something else, all right? There are several ways, different things that you can do with the router and do with the route, but at the same time, that seems a lot more advanced. Let's just stick with the basics at this point in time. So we get a router, dot route means you match it up with this location on the path, and then you do this afterwards. You notice it says here link instead of link function. We'll go over that in the, in the future video, okay? Request, it automatically gets inserted inside right inside of here. And then we'll asynchronously, asynchronously, because this is a future, return response, okay? So if you go to the website, localhost, example, what happens is it gets sent here, goes through the link function, response dot routed, okay? And there are other things that we can do. There is the path, okay? So you can do example slash one place, and it gets sent, to, the response is path, all right? So if you could see that, depending on where you send your information, it could get sent to a couple of different places depending, and you can do different things depending upon this request. All right, let's talk about the path variables themselves. So if we talk about a path variable, notice this colon right inside of here, right there. So what you could do is after the one place, you can put something. I'm gonna just type me, first path variable. So this is a, a good example is if you have some extra information to hook on in addition, like this is gonna be extra information, like a, this is my ID, this is my, um, this is the idea is the best thing. This is my name or something like that. You would hook it onto that. But the colon first is a variable. It's it's a path variable. It's not actually a colon first right here. Okay. And then there's an optional path. Again, this is just information that we have on the client. We're sending over to example slash to place slash something. You could either do to place, which will send second path variable or something else. And it'll send you to the same place. That's an optional variable, okay? When I look at a video like this, part of me says, what the heck are you even talking about, okay? Because um, I, I haven't gone over, but, but I think you can imagine, I haven't gone over the client, and what does a client look like that it sends this information over? But I think you can kind of imagine, if we had a form and we the, the action was to a certain place, if we sent it to a certain place here or here, we could send it to different places on different forms, and it would give us different bits of information or different functions depending where we sent it right? So that's helpful for me right then and there. I don't know how exactly how to use this, but just the concept of how to use the routes themselves. And this can be very annoying because what happens right here is that you have to exa uh, match it exactly. If it's examples or you spell it wrong, it's not going to work. It has to be exact. So that's one of the things that we have to keep in mind. All right. So baby steps, we'll go over the routes. Let's go over um, more in the future and move on. Okay. Thanks.